launched a shredder for HSN years in, in a row, but this is the best we've ever done by far. This is 140 sheet micro paper shredder. And I say micro because it cuts everything into the most itty bitty little pieces. There's not a way in the world anybody could piece that information together and get any information out of you. And I'm talking social security numbers, I'm talking birthdays, I'm talking medical records and medical history, all the things that, you know what, those bad guys, bad gals, are looking for so they can steal your identity and essentially just destroy your life, at least for a long time, for a year or more. I had my, my neighbor Phil uh, and Sandy, they had their identity stolen multiple times before I finally convinced them to get a shredder. I'm like, you guys, and he was retired colonel in the army. I mean, he was like one of those guys who was really religious and stringent about everything, except he just didn't think about the risk he was taking by just crumpling his, you know, documents and throwing them in the trash or just cutting them into a few pieces uh, or tearing it into four pieces. This is so important. Now, Embassy is the main, main game when it comes to shredding. They make one out of every four, one out of every four shredders made in the country is an embassy shredder. We've done this for years. Every single shredder has been a customer pick. And this one is absolutely destined to be that and more because it is so much more. It's 140 sheets that we don't have to sit and feed two or three or five or six pieces of paper once at a time. You can put 140 pages right here on the auto dock feeder and it just gradually draws in one page at a time, micro cuts it into itty bitty pieces. Uh, we're so proud of this one, not only because it is a substantially, uh, you know, significant savings, $50 off of a normal price. It's a $200 shredder that we're doing at $50 off today with free shipping and with four flex, it's only $37.50. You'll sleep better at night knowing that anything that's important, you shred it and forget it. We give you a lot of extras too. We're gonna give you a couple of paper, you know, the bin liners, we're gonna give you lubricating sheets so this will constantly give you that fluid movement of shred, 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 shred. Now at HSN, there's a lot of reasons this is the place to get your shredders. Obviously, we always bring you the latest and the greatest. This is an exclusive bundle. I just went through all the extras you're getting and look at all the great colors that we have to choose from. Uh, this is the brand new marble and this one is the number one fastest seller already with close to 3,000 spoken for. It is right here. This is the most limited one. It's a beautiful white marble. It literally looks to me like granite. It's gorgeous. So if you want this, don't wait on it. It's very much gonna be the first to go today. We also have silver, we have rose, I'm sorry, we're calling this gray, but it is a, it's a matte silver gray. There's your rose gold down below. We've got the navy blue, we've got red, and we've got black. I have a black shredder in my office. I got the last today special that we have, uh, that we offered because it offered the micro cut. I had a shredder that was only doing those long individual strips. You know what, that was good back in the day, but guess what? It's 2021, not only has, has technology evolved in this world, so have the minds of the people that wanna do bad stuff. I mean, seriously, people spend their lives trying to figure out how to get your information, steal your identity, use your social security number, use your credit card information to put the charges there. I mean, it, it, one thing leads to another and it's just this horrible downward spiral if somebody actually gets the information that is yours, it's personal, it's private. Nobody else should get it. There are people who dump into trash cans and try to find paperwork that they just need a little bit of information from us. And boy, let the nightmare begin. Well, we're gonna let the party begin with my friend and yours, Bill Duggan, who is joining us on Skype to talk it through. Bill, it is an annual tradition. I don't know how many years in a row we've been doing this. Right, and that's just it. We all can benefit from a shredder, and that's just it. You tell us how much you love your shredder. It's a piece of office equipment. It's right over here. When I want to bring it out, it easily rolls around because Embassy puts them on casters. They're giving us a larger bin, peekaboo window, but it really comes down to the capacity and the performance because there are two trays. That front tray, I can do 10 sheets at a time, but when I've put off shredding for a while, I can open up this dock feeder in the back and so that means that stack that just kept growing, and you know, it's one thing if the stack is 12, 14, 30, 40, 50, 60, keep going, 70, oh, 100, 140 sheets I can load up in the back up here. And the cool part about it is I don't have to sit here all Saturday afternoon. I can take half or all, the whole stack and boom, set it up and go on with my day. Set it up and actually guess what? Go back to going through the drawers and finding what else I wanna shred 
because that's what this convenience offers us in terms of not being a slave to shredding, but more importantly, getting the shredding done. And when the shredding's getting done, the biggest thing is we're getting rid of the clutter, but most importantly, we're protecting our identity. That's why the Federal Trade Commission, they warn us, you, we have to shred our documents. Why is the government telling us this? Because it's one of the number one complaints they get. Someone took my identity, someone took my credit score and my social security number, and they say shred. But for a lot of us, we've tried shredders. And you know what, it was kind of a chore because the stack just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Now with Autodoc, it's great because I don't have to babysit it. I love the fact that it's engaged right now, but oh, I just found another piece of paper. So perfect, boom, I can be shredding in the front and the back at the exact same time. But one thing everyone has to realize, tax season's coming up, right? Do you know 49% of all identity theft happens during tax season? Half of all identity theft is in the next few months. So you're starting the year off right because you're getting rid of the clutter, you're protecting your identity, and this is that largest capacity. Largest in terms of the auto dock feeder, largest in terms of that waste bin receptacle, it's five and a half gallons. And I'll be real, I got a small home office. So I actually use this large waste bin as my trash can. But then when I need to shred, I shut that door and it just starts to go and go and go. So it performs well. The biggest performance that you're gonna notice the difference is, is this. This is my Andrew Lessman impersonation, by the way. So you, this is strip cup. Shredding a type that's been around for 40 years. So we've upgraded from this because we had to, and we went to cross cut, which was a definitely a better option, but that's been around so long they figured that out. You're getting micro cut. Thank you, Callie. Look at that strip cut right there. Yeah, this you can is actually read that's information original. on there. Then we went to cross cutting, and that's really why we had to evolve, but you're even doing one better than the pink. You're going all the way up to that bright yellow, small, fine shred, and that's really where we've had to evolve because even as we, as we have had embassy here at the network, identity theft has actually gone up. And we'll go into why in a second. But notice how the gears have evolved. They got more teeth. And so it makes everything smaller and finer. But, you know, with those gears getting bigger, these get kind of heavy. So the fact that they put this on casters is great. The fact that I can leave it over here in the corner, yet also it stands tall. So if I do need to shred, I can easily just reach over. I don't have to bend down. I think they've thought of everything, including a light on the inside so you can see what's going on. And we also are offering the largest care package. And what does that mean? You get a great starter kit. It has lubricant sheets to keep it nice and oiled. It has a bin liner, which is just great. But what you're gonna find the most therapeutic is this. You're getting rid of stuff that we don't need to hold on to anymore. Whether it's last year, whether it's the documents that have been filling up a drawer or a cabinet or taking up your desktop, dispose of it properly, and you're protecting yourself. But one other thing you have to remember with the Today Special, and we don't always get to do this, this big box uh -huh. is gonna ship to you for free. For free. It's a 20. And with Embassy. Yes. Right. With Embassy, mm -hmm. go ahead. No, with Embassy, they are be at the network again because you guys love them. They make all of them customer oh, yeah. picks. They're all customer picks. But we don't always get to do free shipping. No, we don't. And it's a 19-pound yeah. shredder. So that's a significant savings, and it's only today. Everything is free shipping, including our today's special. What I do, and I, you know, it is really therapeutic, honestly, because first of all, you get rid of clutter. You get rid of piles of paperwork that have been just kind of stacking themselves, even old tax documents. After whatever your accountant says, you can start shredding that stuff and not keep it in boxes and piling up but what I do is I put a whole pile right here and this, this is actually what I do with mine but mine doesn't have the auto dock feeder that this does but just kind of set it all together and then one day just go like this you just turn it on and it starts drawing in each of the sheets one at a time but oh did I do this the right way yes I did um, one at a time and then it just continues doing that it just takes a second to get started and I tell you what there it goes and this bin is huge my original shredder it was like this little in, itsy bitsy sh uh, bin in, so I had to constantly be dumping it. This is like truly, it's a great idea, Bill, to keep this as a trash can, but shred things first. And of course, as we continue today, knowing that we're close to 3,000 gone, we don't have a ton of these. It is the most important thing you can do for your own protection and safety. It is about you, your wife, your husband, your kids. We all should be shredding important documents. In fact, Bill, that leads me to the next question is, what kinds of documents do does the government uh, suggest that we actually shred? I mean, it's beyond 
beyond the credit card statements that obviously nobody needs your credit card information. Right. You can cr shred those cards once they're expired too. So that's the other thing and, and discs and that sort of thing. But what other things do are we, are we asked to shred for our own protection? Well, that's just it. It's really a limitless list. And it's going to be different for you, Callie. It's going to be different for me. It's going to be different for the kids and the seniors because, you know, it's medical, it's refinance, it's a purchase, it's construction and education documents, uh, travel documents even. We want to just go over, be able to go over to our shredder. Actually, you know what's another great one? Holiday cards. The government doesn't tell us about that, but why? Like this, if I was to throw this envelope away, that is my address. That is, um, let's see. Oh, that's my sister's address. She sent me a Christmas card. But I'm shredding it. I'm not just throwing it away. I'm getting rid of the clutter. I mean, this is also a great example. This is going to ship to you in a free box, right? How many boxes do we get over the holidays? Those labels with even barcodes can be read by identity thieves. Recycle what you can, but don't recycle your identity. So notice, it's auto shred feeding mm -hmm. in the back. I can actually come over here with dense cardboard and you see the end result. Just so you know, I put in a clear bin so you can see micro cutting in action. Unfortunately, the clear is not an option, but these shiny finishes, we actually are excited about that even because they've made them not matte and basic. They've made them actually very artistic and shiny to the point where you can actually see reflections in here because we do want you to leave it out. Because if you leave it out, you're going to use it. If you run across it with, you know, your junk mail, guess what? I'm not going to be getting this stack out of control. I'm just going to shred this. Oh, this is a good one. Kelly, you might recognize this. It's the property tax guy ah, <laughs> from the county. Yeah. Uh, let's just shred that. <laughs> ah. And it feels good to get rid of the parking tickets and the old paycheck stubs. Because I, I was in here, you know, over the holidays. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to start cleaning up some stuff. Mm -hmm. And I found banking statements paychecks from 1996. Oh dear. I don't even have that job anymore. Yes. I don't even have that car anymore. <laughs> right. But one thing you have to realize, it's the same social security number, yep. same middle initial, yep. and all of that information in the wrong hands yep. is dangerous. Absolutely. Yep. And I got my drawer back too, because I made space. That's just it. I mean, I love the fact you can clean yep. the clutter. That's always a number one, you know, top 10 of our, you know, New Year's resolutions. But this is something that takes it to the next level. You clean the clutter, you organize, you clean out space for other things, and then you get rid of the, <laughs> I want to say evidence. But the truth is, my social security number is only mine. Nobody else should have it. Nobody. And especially those who are looking to, you know, wreak havoc in our lives. It's really frustrating to me that they can live with themselves, these people who do this. But they do, and they make a living on it, and they get smarter and smarter every single year, and that's why so does Embassy. It gets smarter and smarter every year. This is virtually a commercial grade shredder. When you think about 140 documents at the same time that can constantly be fed through here, and there's a 10 page right in the front if you want to use it that way, whatever works for you, but it is powerful. It is powerful, and it's $50 off. Anywhere else you find this shredder, you're going to see it for $200. We get to do special pricing with Embassy. And again, we do this at the start of every year. It is the most important purchase you probably could make as you move into the year, getting rid of the past. Let's get rid of the past. 2020 for starters. Uh, but let's start feeling better about protecting our own identity. I got a call. I don't know. This is a while back. But my son, remember when Tristan had, um, he had his lung situation. He was in a hospital. He was up in Kentucky. And I got this information saying um, somebody has actually accessed many documents information on your son with his social security number at the time he was 15 or 16 years old but you know what it starts young sometimes the youngsters don't think about it as much as we do as adults nor do you know maybe our grandparents and people like that that never had to live through the reality of what people are trying to do to hurt us this you know, at this point in our lives. And it sounds negative, but the best part to me is that there's a solution, and it's right here. The Embassy Shredder, which, by the way, if you want this brand new, beautiful white marble, it is for sure gonna be the first to sell out today. First time offering, it's exclusive, and it will be the first to go. Most limited and most popular. The other choices are what we're calling gray. I do love this. It's like a matte silver. It's like your stainless steel furniture. Sometimes you want to keep it in the, in the kitchen. Maybe you've got a combination office kitchen in a, in a smaller space, like my son lives in the studio. Uh, the other colors are fantastic. They're all so pretty. There's the black. Love this. I mean, that's candy apple red. If that's ever, it's never been prettier. Uh, then the blue is beautiful. It's got that glossiness to that navy. And then of course the rose gold. How much better could it be for something that 
that is truly an industrial strength shredder. It's the most powerful shredder we have ever done in all the years that we've offered them. So as we pass 3,000 sold at this point, you know, it's really early on the West Coast. There's a lot of people who haven't seen this yet. I hope you can get your day started feeling good about a great decision towards your own personal safety and identity. I know I shred everything that I don't need anymore. Instead of just, even if, it, if I don't go through page by page, but if I realize, oh, that's something I don't need, I just shred it. Not worry about if it has my social security number or credit card information. I don't want anybody having any information, even my address. Nobody needs my address, right? Exactly. And the thing is, Callie, when we launched Embassy, it was one in 10 of us fell victim to identity theft. It's actually now one in seven. It's gone up. It's more prolific because as we print stuff off the computer, as stuff gets sent to us in the mail that's pre-filled out, like I don't need this credit card application because I'm fine. But guess what? If I was just to throw that away, someone could get that information. So don't even open up some of those documents, just shred them. You get that instant satisfaction of seeing what happens. And the big reason why these are customer picks, I'm not Wi-Fi enabled. I don't have to pair it to anything. I just plug it in and I start to reduce my footprint, the clutter, the mistakes of, oops, that was a bad print job. But the best part about it is right. I'm not holding on to stuff that I don't need anymore. I'm starting the year off right. I'm getting rid of stuff that I want to forget. So whether it's 2020, whether it's old love letters or whatever the great part about it is easy and it performs well because it has the quality of what embassy delivers i have a stack of papers here i'm not removing staples i'm adding staples shredding in the back and boom just like that it's going to take care of that pro that process for me i think i'm off in my count somehow i got my numbers out of order i apologize everybody <laughs> but the best thing is it's going and going and it keeps going and that's where it becomes a nice staple in your home office and Callie, you even spoke about, you know, your son was a victim or, you know, he his identity was taken. Mm -hmm. And without even having telling you the statistics, we know it's out there. Kids and seniors are more susceptible because it just it, that's the way it is. But as you were saying, kids have a social security number, but they don't access their credit till, you know, they start getting a new car or they start going off to college. And by then they're trying to piece it back together. Right. Who did it? Where did it happen? How do I prevent it? Yeah. This is your first line of defense for every member in your house. And that's why the Federal Trade Commission warns us we need to shred, shred and shred. Yes. Getting rid of the clutter, worth it. Getting my storage space back, worth it. But really being protected. And one of the number one complaints the Federal Trade Commission is about identity theft. And that's why they go this far to say to reduce the risk of being an identity theft victim, closely guard your social security number. We've heard that for years, but shred charge receipts, shred credit applications, and other sensitive documents. And that other is really different for every individual in your home. But don't just think about your home. What have our homes become? Our homes are now our office. So now I even have corporate information at home. And actually I was joking earlier, I used to take my shredding to, H to HSN mm -hmm. because they had a better shredder than I did. Right. And the thing is, that's not safe transporting all that stuff back and forth. Look at the power. It goes through the plastic, goes through the staples, yep. goes through 10 sheets in the front, yep. 140 in the back. And while this keeps running and running, guess what, Callie? I'm going to go walk the dog. That's I'm right. going to go get more coffee. Do you want anything? I don't have to sit here <laughs> and just keep going. It's Saturday. I I got right. better things to do, no, don't it's, you? It's, it's yeah. the truth, and it used to be a very laborious thing. I mean, it used to be, mm -hmm. like my original, because I've always purchased my my shredders from us at HSN, but the original, I was like one page at a time. It didn't do staples, right. it didn't do credit cards, it didn't do the discs, and then they, of course, kept evolving. This is the best by far that we've ever had. I've, I've upgraded mine now three times, and this is an important thing to consider because the old fashioned way, if you've got an old one, and my, my, my neighbor Phil and Sandy had an old one, and it did this kind of shredding. But guess what? There's still plenty of information on there for that bad person who has been jumping through your, or dump, diving into your trash, that can piece that information. They can figure out what number goes to what, and what, you know, seriously. Then it went to this, which was great, but now, and I'm sorry I'm making a mess here, look at how it's like confetti. It's so itty bitty that there's not a 
possibility that somebody could figure out how to put that information back together. And I'm gonna go back to my, my neighbors, Phil and Sandy, because as I said, he was a retired colonel in the army. I mean, the man, Purple Heart, I mean, just one of the best people I know to this day. And it was a nightmare for them. I felt so bad because they had just retired and all of a sudden they got these calls and stuff, one thing happened and another thing happened. And before you know it, they had to close bank accounts. They had to close their credit cards down. His poor credit score went down so low. And here's the guy who's worked his whole life giving in the military and has to deal with that at the point that they were trying to sell the house and move on and get into you know a different lifestyle because that's what they're doing right now. They're still my dear friends and I can't wait to go see them out near Arizona, but watching them go through that nightmare of somebody having taken their identity uh -huh. at no fault of their own. He was as diligent as anybody could be, but it didn't occur to him that this kind of shredding wasn't cutting it anymore. Who knows where that person got the information? In fact, Bill, this is bringing me to another thought. I've been watching this show. Tracy and I started watching last night. And I'm not going to name the name of the show, but it deals with oh. private investigators who go, uh -huh. literally, they're paid to go find people's information. They'll steal trash oh. from your backyard or your front yard or from the trash man himself to get in there and see what they can find, whether it's notes mm -hmm. or whether it's hobbies or whether it's, it's different. It's different than just stealing your credit card information. But you know what? It's a nightmare for those people who are being hounded. These private investigators are relentless, and that's what they're paid to do, is to literally go and dig out the trash and find more personal information about those people, those victims, I'm going to call them. So it's a really important subject, and it's a really important thing that every home, I believe, should have one. And yeah. you know what I think about my son? I mean... All of us, really, as parents, we need to teach our kids the importance of protecting what the information is, which is yours, and it's theirs. It's not some bad guy that wants to make a career out of, you know, stealing money from you because they happen to get your credit card, and then your credit score goes down, and how long it takes for that to get back to a good place. I mean, the stories go on and on and on. It's a bad hamster wheel to get stuck on because, yes, it does affect your credit score. It affects your interest rates, your mortgage payments, your car payments, and it can affect you down the road because you got to clean up that history. So why start the year off with a ding? Why start your, you know, credit score with your kid or a senior off on, with a ding? I want to point out a few quick things. Mine stopped running because it realized the bin was full. That's ah. how smart this is. So it just will it'll stop so it doesn't keep going and going. Another thing is... I cut a corner, I threw away one piece of paper. It's not gonna happen to me, right? Well, guess what? Just like your neighbors, it happens. And mm -hmm. you know, yes, there are dumpster divers, but it also, you know, your garbage can gets knocked over and then what happens, let's right. see. It is, drum roll please, okay. My paycheck stub is in the neighbor's yard or my insurance information. So it's about privacy, it's about security. The embassy just gives us performance where when I walk up to this and turn it on, I know it's gonna work. I know it's gonna do the one job that it has. All oh, right, it's not shredding because I got to empty this. Because guess what? Five and a half gallon bin, which is great because that's one of the largest we've ever offered. Largest care package we've ever included too in terms of the seven lubricant sheets and bin liners. And this is really where you also get proof is in the pudding. Because when I do take this out, I don't lift off the lid anymore. Remember, I can actually just take this drawer. But when I throw this away, that is the micro cut. This is that finer, smaller shred that is in pretty much impervious to anyone piecing it together. And you can't tell me which one's a tax document, which one is a paycheck stub, and that's a good thing. Because you're making it harder for identity thieves out there, but also it's just that peace of mind. I could throw this away and someone would be like, I did not get invited to the New Year's party, but <laughs> I know I'm protected. And you know, I've used it for packing material as well because it is a nice smaller shred. You'll get this home and you'll see why all our embassy shredders have become customer picks mm -hmm. because the performance is there. It is reliability. There's nothing worse when you have something in your office and you're like, oh, I don't, I don't want to use the printer right now because it always jams or it's out of ink. This is just a solid go-to in our home. <laughs> so it manages the clutter. It protects our identity. But more importantly, it works. It and does. you're going to want to use it because whether it's a stack of papers, whether it's the boxes, whether it's... Oh, more mail and junk mail and advertisements. And oh, that reminds it. me. <clears throat> you know what I found? And I think you taught me this. You know how you get those statements sometimes in the mail saying, oh, your credit's so good. We want to extend your ability to transfer it to 0% interest for a period of time. Yeah. You know what? Shred those things. 
Because if you don't yeah. and you just tear them in half and somebody can easily put that together and apply for on your behalf and then you know what happens from there. I mean, seriously, right. it's so important to shred stuff. Documents, insurance, medical records and history. I mean, obviously pay stubs and W-2s and tax documents, all those things, but just shred it all. You'll just get in the habit, mm -hmm. especially being able to put 140 pieces of paper right there in that slot and it just draws yep. it in one at a time and it micro cuts every single one of them. I mean, the front one will take 10, the back one, 140 more than ever before. By the way, your system comes with the, uh, two of the uh, waist bin liners, and I highly recommend right. get more. Because to me, it's the easiest thing to be able to get. You just put one of these in, and then you just take it out just like your regular trash can instead of having to take the whole bin and then dump that into your outdoor trash. So these are available, but we only have, like, I think a 1,000 left for the day. We'll put the item number up on the screen. It's just an added convenience. So it's a nice thing to, to add to your purchase. But right now, oh, 900 only left. Uh, in, in it's a 50 bag count. So information will come right there, 522800. I uh, definitely suggest that. Then of course, pick your color. If you want the white marble, I know it's gonna be the first to go. Uh, we only have 1300 left, Rob? Ooh, okay, well this, and I do love it. It looks so elegant and it is exclusive and it is the first to sell out today. Uh, but we have the silver gray, rose gold, blue, red, black, by the way, there's free shipping, and this is a 19-pound product, so that's a nice savings for you. And then on a fourth flex, it's only $37.50. HSN card holders, I believe you can add another flex to make it even more affordable and just feel better, sleep better, knowing that you are doing the right thing. Nobody else is gonna be able to take care of your own personal information besides you. Nobody else is gonna say, oh, don't worry about it, I gotcha. It's our own responsibilities to do this. And it's the easiest thing. I keep mine right next to my chair in my office and I just start a stack and I just start shredding once at a time. Actually for me, I do it a couple pages at a time, but you have the option of not even having to do that hand feeding with the 140 auto dock feeder in the front, 10 in the, front, in the back rather, 10 in the front. And all those documents with staples, no worries put them all through. It will literally create your own little confetti party. And you can, yeah, use it as, as packing material if you would like. That feels good too to, to save and, you know, to kind of recycle. But that being said, Bill, we've got 90 seconds in this airing. I know well over 3,000 spoken for. Um, if somebody is still thinking, I don't know, I don't probably need it. I mean, it's not us saying so. It's the government telling us it's a really important thing to do. And that's just it. It's important because it's your identity. It's convenient because of the quality of embassy and how much you can go through. But they've given us all these other great extras. And the thing is, it starts with that protection of our identity, from our credit score to our insurance rates and all that. Shred charge receipts, shred credit applications and other sensitive documents. And that's the government. Another thing to keep in mind, it's the beginning of the year, but 49% of all identity theft happens during tax season because we're digging stuff out of filing cabinets and printing it off and sending it off. So shred that stuff. Embassy gives us fun, shiny colors, so it's gonna look good if we leave it out. Another little convenience, the bin even has a little eyelet, so if you get those liners, it holds it in place. This big box ships to you for free because it is a today special. You have stuff that you need to shred, we all do. You just gotta get the proper shredder home and you know, don't make shredding a chore, just get it done. I love some of the comments. I saw some of the reviews. One of them is saying, this thing is a beast. <laughs> right? I love it. It will shred everything I put in it. It's a beast. Love, that's what you want your shredder to be. Bill, I know we'll see you back here at high noon. Thank you so much for your time yes. this morning. Have a good morning. You too, sweetie. 734-587 uh, is our star of the day. Again, we're about 1,000 strong only in this white marble. So good luck getting your favorite. We're going to toss things over to Alice. I'm so excited. Alice gets to tell you about the Fire Stick TVs from Amazon that we have a better price than they do. It's, it's pretty amazing, it's right? Awesome. It's their product. I know. And we have a better price uh -huh. than Amazon. <laughs> and